Hey guys and dolls! Jane Smith back with another car review. This time from Panda Express. It is their, whoa, it is their brand new Peking Pork. And uh, forgive the car noise and the air conditioner noise. Got to keep that on because it's warm and the light just absolutely sucks. Trying to get a good view of the, uh, of the pork. I will pull some out because I don't got a, uh, I don't have any utensils today, so it's just uh, me. Here's the Peking pork. It's supposed to be like sweet and sour pork, which is what it smells like. Looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. Let's go in for a taste. That is some good Peking pork. Mm -mm -mm. I got this thanks to the lovely camera lady, Noelle. Say hello, Noelle. Hello. And, uh, mm, this tiny little box was free. Free. <laughs> but normally it would be about $3.90 at school. $3.90 at, uh, California State University at Fresno in the that's where she works and uh, it's pretty good it's a little less than crunchy just because just because uh, we had to drive for a while before we could sit and do this but uh, there you go the pork is nice and tender mm. it's nice and sweet um could be more vinegary to suit me, but it's it's very good. I would definitely get it as a, a bowl or part of a combo. A lot of people have said it tastes like orange chicken, only in the sweetness department. It's not. It's got a different, slightly different flavor than the orange chicken, but it's pretty good. I might dump some vinegar on it, some hot oil, just to make it spicy. But uh, yeah, I can recommend it. So there we are. There we are quick little car review from Panda Express straight to you and from everyone here in the car that's it so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe comment all that happy stuff want to bid you happy snacking find that yummy pseudo Chinese food where you can and most of all take care bye bye woo